Comet breeze, the mesa to the western skies With the sound of a thousand cattle drives A chosen few would see the light And find the wrong with right Up on the mesa all the way from Jersey City. <laughs> I guess she ain't gonna never know. <laughs> hey, boss, I got the pay dirt <laughs> payroll. <laughs> you clumsy fool. <laughs> Whoa, get the boot here. Why didn't even bother using this guy all the time? He gets me so mad. I got you didn't beat this guy up. What an unbelievable boot here. I'm... My golly, who'd have thought the mass bull is Sheriff Terrible? Would you like me to show you what happens to clumsy outlaws who make the mass bull angry? Can I think about it and get back to you later in the day? Nice try. <laughs> Believe me, this hurts you more than it does me. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Get out of here! Get, get away from me! I didn't see anything, Sheriff Mask! I, I mean, Mask Terrible! I know what you mean, Puma. <laughs> the the Cowboys! Let's clear out! <laughs> Clean the stage out. Looks like we're a day late and a dollar short. Marshall! Oh. Huh? <laughs> Puma, you all right? Yeah, but please tell me we're a dreamin'. I saw the mass bull and he weren't the mass bull at all. He was really... Sheriff Terrible. He was Sheriff Terrible. Huh? You weren't dreaming, Puma. I was afraid of that. Like the Code of the West says, if you wait long enough, every snake will shed his mask. Yep. There you are, Marshal. An arrest warrant for the good Sheriff Terrible, alias the notorious outlaw, the Mask Bull. But I can tell you, I don't like it. Not one bit. Accusing a law cow of criminal injustices can have, shall we say, repercussions. This witness of yours had better be on the up and up, or you're going to be on the up and up to your neck in trouble. I appreciate the warning. Adios, Mayor. Now to find the sheriff. Yep. Have a seat, fellas. <laughs> well, if it ain't Calamity Kate. Miss Kate? I just got word my package from Jersey City was stolen right off the Moo Mesa stage and in broad daylight. That and other things. Well, Marshal, I gotta get it back. Pronto. Package? What's in it? That'd be Miss Kate's business. Well, much obliged, Dakota. It is of a personal nature. Well, now rest easy, Calamity. We have an idea who made off with your package, and we're heading over to arrest him right now. <laughs> 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 
the marshal's coming to arrest you, Sheriff. The mayor done sent me to tell you to make yourself scarce. Those dag burn cowboys again? That runt Puma's starting telling tales awful quick. <laughs> Sheriff? Sheriff Terrible. Sheriff? What's the sheriff? Only a guilty varmint runs from the law, Saddlesore. Speaking of whom, where's the sheriff? Ow! Sorry, Sheriff. <laughs> you sure you don't know the sheriff's whereabouts? What's a whereabout? Well, we'll find him, Saddle Sore. You can bet your stinger on that. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> what? What? Uh, why are you so jumpy, Puma? <laughs> it's a long story. Marshal Montana told me to keep my eyes open and my mouth closed for safekeeping. Now, that'll be two bits. Uh, highway robbery. No wonder the marshal's worried about you. <laughs> the masked bull wants to see you. <laughs> Good. We knew you'd say it his way. <laughs> I get it. You mean because you can't see, huh? <laughs> so long, Puma. Send it over the side. But that's my wagon. So kind of you to offer. I like that wagon. <gasps> JR, thanks a lot. Oh, my aching bones. How's about a little more hot water there, boys? Hot enough, Puma? It'll do, Colorado. Now don't go forgetting my back. Dakota, what's keeping you? Pitiful, just pitiful. Dakota, you got yourself a lot to learn about shining boots. How's everything going, partners? Maybe I better rephrase the question. You gotta get me out of this, Moo. I'm a cowboy, not a babysitter. Now, kid, Puma needs protecting. If JR hadn't have found him, we'd have no witness against the sheriff. I'll be back as soon as I find Terrible. Did I mention that I like a foot massage with my bath? I'm afraid it's true, Terrible. The good Marshal Montana has Puma locked up in protective custody. It's time something is done. Something of a desperate nature. Tarnation! There's gotta be another way. Not unless you plan on spending the rest of your days doing hard time in the Federal Pen. Okay, okay. Took you long enough to spring me, big brother. Don't make me sorry, I did, horrible. It's time for me to even the score with that lowdown Marshal Meathead Montana for sending me to prison. Hold on, horrible. You're not going anywhere. Got a way for both of us to get even. Uh, you always were the bossy one. Morning, Marshal. 
Morning, Mr. Pete. Well, hey, howdy, Moo. You looking for breakfast? Afraid not, Miss Lily. Looking for a varmint. And I just found him. With the blue plate special and sourdough toast on the side. Yeah. Eat up, terrible. Because your next meal is going to be in jail. You're under arrest. It's about time, Montana. Losing your touch. <laughs> Go ahead, Marshal. Lock me in good and tight. Satisfied? Not until you're convicted as the masked bull. <laughs> then you're gonna be mighty disappointed. <laughs> Take your grimy mitts off my gold! <laughs> yeah! Nobody messes with my gold mine. Besides, I want my package back. <laughs> No, 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 I said three pillars. There, that's much better. Oh, Colorado, how's that grub a coming? My stomach's starting to sound like a stampede through a tea kettle. Oh, just what you ordered, Puma, beans and biscuits. Ain't you forgetting my bib there, Dakota? Why, you look a mite put out there, Dakota. Remember what the good Marshal Moo said. Take care of your witness. Oh, how much Tabasco you put in these beans? You boys trying to poison me? Best idea I heard all day. Water, water. Where did you boys hide the door? Oh, right there where it is. Can't you see it? Oh, uh, yeah. Order. Now, Marshal Moo Montana, let's hear the ridiculous case you're bringing against the brave and honorable Sheriff Terrible. Yeah, nice to know you're impartial, Judge Baloney. For my first witness, I call the town handyman, Puma. Moo, Moo, I got some news for you. Later, kid. But Moo... It'll have to keep. Now, Puma, when the masked bull was unveiled, who did you see? Well, it appeared to me to be Sheriff Terrible. Order, order, I say. Now, Puma, who would you say that appeared to be? Uh, appears to be Sheriff Terrible. And how about him? Sheriff Terrible. So to conclude, Puma, exactly how many sheriffs do you see in this room? Marshal, any further questions? Moo, I've been trying to tell you, Puma can't see past his nose. Where's the Marshal? Marshal, my gold mine's just been robbed by the masked bull. <laughs> you hear that, Montana? And I was under lock and key all day. And I still don't have my parcel back. Don't you worry, Miss Gate. We'll get your belongings. It, uh, <clears throat> it appears, Your Honor, that I might have made a mistake. Yes, sir, a big one. I'm releasing the good Sheriff Terrible and putting you, Marshal Moo Montana, under arrest for harboring a fugitive. What fugitive? Why, Puma, of course, for expectorating in public. We all pitched in to cover Puma's outstanding fines, Mayor, and I'll make sure he watches his expectorating in public. Yes, yes, yes. And I'll make sure that this is given to the proper authorities. You're no longer under arrest, Montana. 
I always pay my debts, Marshal. That's nice, Puma, but uh, I don't wear boots. Oh, uh, are you sure, Marshal? I just can't figure it. I was sure we had terrible dead to rights. I'd like to know why Calamity's so riled up about her missing package. Oh, might be it's a new rodeo rope. Yeah, I sure could use one of those. Kid, you should be minding the code. Don't go sticking your nose in the prairie dog's hole, lessen it's invited. Marshal Meathead, meet me at dead end this evening if you want the gold, and come alone or forget it. The mask bull. P.S. I've got Calamity Kate's package, too. Well, that explains it. Yippee, I okay, yeah. Well, let's go and get him, Moo. Not this time, kid. The note says, come alone. Cyclone! So that's what I'm gonna do. See you later, boys. Oh, oh, Miss Lily. Oh, Miss Lily. Miss Lily. Something awful's happened. Well, well, calm down, Jack. Now, now tell me, what is it? Well, I guess the wires were down, because this just came in over the telegraph. Horrible escape from prison. <gasps> Did you warn the marshal? Everyone knows Horrible's sure to come a-gunning for him. That outlaw sworn to get even with Moo ever since Moo put him away. Oh, that's just it, Miss Lily. Nobody knows where the marshal is. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Don't all that gold just make your mouth water? Man, this ain't fair. The terror bull and his brother get the cape at all. Yeah, maybe they'll let us keep Calamity's parcel. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. You wanna ask him? Not if I wanna live to tell about it. No way, brother! I gets to smash the marshal! Forget it, Horrible. I've been waiting a long time for this. He's mine. I've been waiting longer, so I'm doing me head in. You always were pig-headed, Horrible. Need any more convincing? Oh, Mo always liked you better. That's cause she's got good taste. Name's Colorado. That's kid to you. Oh, I hope Moo's gonna be okay, Dakota. Hey, you got any guesses what Calamity's got in that package of hers? I could really use a new trick lariat, or a saddle, or some fine snakeskin boots. What? What'd I say? It ain't nice to pry in a lady's personal business. Why, Dakota, if I didn't know better, I'd think you're sweet on Calamity. It's true, ain't it? That's between me and Miss Kate. Dakota, Colorado, oh, thank goodness I found you. Moo's got trouble. Terrible's no account twin brother horrible. Just broke out of prison. Let's go, dude. Yeah. Yep. Mind if I join you, fellas? Moo's gonna need all the help he can get. <laughs> I wiped out Marshal Meathead! What do you mean, you? I did it myself. Did I hear my name mentioned, boys? Montana! But we smashed you! Now, now, boys. You ought to know what the code says by now. You can only knock a person down if he lets you believe he's a dummy. You tricked us! I've been told that outlaws are dim-witted. Now, I'm betting one of you is really that varmint horrible, and the other is terrible. And I'm aiming to find out. So hold out your hands, the both of you. Oh! <laughs> Watch your pretty little hands, Marshal! <laughs> <laughs> well, look here. It's the Marshal down and dirty. Now, to finish off Marshal Meathead Montana. No, he's all mine. You already took your turn. Never said I played fair. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah.
always a pleasure to see you, Moo. We saw you passing by and thought we'd say hello. Right friendly of you. <gasps> Come on, horrible! Lend a hand! <laughs> but what about the loot? I will! You do! Go back and get it! Go, oh, man, get it! Now, why can't all outlaws stick together? Well, at least we still have one masked bull. Oh, darn stickers! You'll pay for this, Marshal Meathead! How'd you know it was him, Moo? His note. Nobody calls me Marshal Meathead, but this low-down sidewinder. Look horrible. I can't prove it yet, but I'm sure you robbed Calamity Kate's mind while Terror Bull was in jail. In that case, where's my package? I, uh... Sort of found this with the loot, Miss Kate. <gasps> Address? That's what's in the huh? package? Oh, now how am I gonna use that? First person to laugh gets the wrong end of this rope. I think you look right purdy in it, Miss Kate. Thanks, Dakota. You're a true cowboy. We'll take care of him now, Marshal. And he'll spend the rest of his sentence in solitary confinement. Couldn't happen to a nicer bull. Huh? I think I'm gonna have to get me some boots.